back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is The Magicians which is by Lev Grossman and this is the first one in the Magicians trilogy. I did this as a buddy read with Michael from Bitten by a Radioactive Book, PT from PT Hilton and Chris whose channels I will link down below so you guys can go and check them out because they're all wonderful and there was very mixed opinions about this book. Some people really liked it, some people didn't like it so let's get to discussing this book. This was a really weird read for me because I went into it knowing that there were very mixed public opinions about this book. Some people seemed to really enjoy it and other people seemed to really hate it so I wasn't sure how I was going to fall. Usually I tend to enjoy a lot of books that people don't like but this one was no. <laughs> this one had some really good bits and some bad bits so let's discuss what they were. So some people have kind of compared this book to an adult version of Harry Potter. I don't think that is really a comparison at all. Harry Potter is a very chirpy, happy story. Even the darker bits are seriously happy compared to this story. This is not really an interpretation of Harry Potter at all. This is just they go to a magic school and that is really the only comparison you can draw. There are scenes which are to do with drug abuse, there are scenes which are to do with a lot of sexual activity. It's definitely a mature book, let's put it that way, so I don't think it's really comparable to Harry Potter because the only thing I could see that would compare is that they go to a magic school. Basically this is a portal fantasy and it follows Quentin who is our main character, he lives in our world but he is obsessed with the magical world of Fillory and Fillory is basically Narnia but translated to Fillory for the purpose of this book and Fillory is a magical world where children get to go there through a kind of portal and they get to do fun things and go on adventures and it's always been his dream to go to Fillory. He completely and utterly believes in this magical world and he loves the idea of it. So when he realises that actually he does have some magical potential and he gets into a school called Breakbills which is a magician school. He is really really excited about the prospect of learning magic and we follow his story from there as he goes through the process of going to school and then the process of what to do after you leave school. Quentin as a character is a really horrible character. I did not connect with him in the slightest. In fact I just thought he was really irritating. There were some moments within this book where he just did things that I didn't agree with that I felt were really really silly. He is supposed to have a really really high IQ and be one of the gifted students of America but in actuality he does some things that are really really annoying. He does some horrible things to his friends and he doesn't really get on with many people. He is basically a social outcast and whilst I understand that his personality is meant to be kind of exclusive and nasty and in his own world and selfish, I didn't connect with that as a character and I felt like he if he had progressed as a character over the course of the book maybe I would have connected with him more but he seemed to stay completely static and be just as annoying in the beginning as he was at the end. So I just didn't feel like he had a strong progression as a character and I felt like he was a really annoying nasty character who I just didn't enjoy reading about. There were other characters in the book, a lot of them are very similar, they're all kind of introverts and they're all kind of depressed or have mental issues in some way which meant that none of them were really characters I could connect with personally because I haven't had that sort of emotion in my own life and I haven't had that sort of trauma or sadness or feeling excluded which is what they suffer a lot from. So personally for me it just wasn't a story that I could connect with the characters in and I didn't feel like they were even slightly realistic. I do have friends who are depressed and I have people who I know who are depressed and I just felt like this was a really, really poor representation. But obviously it's different for everyone and I know that Lev Grossman actually wrote this book when he was depressed so maybe that is why there is a very, very strong, depressing, sad, quite messed up tone to this whole book. However, the storyline is a positive in my book. I actually really enjoyed the storyline. Basically, I loved the section within the school where we got to see bits of what they were learning. I then loved the section when they are in Antarctica 
you guys, if you've read it, will know what I mean. But I loved that. I thought that was one of the best scenes and I really, really enjoyed the chapters which were spent there, learning things. And although it was very dark and there were some very dark, horrible things done to them, I felt like that was a really great kind of character progression moment where they were forced to learn these things and take on new skills and make decisions as to whether or not they were ready to face challenges. And I thought that that was really good and I really, really enjoyed that bit. However, we then come back to the magic school and graduate and after graduation no I hated the characters really thought that they were terrible I really didn't enjoy them I thought that they were nasty people they did terrible things they were just useless layabouts a lot of the time and it really wasn't for me I did not connect with them in this section at all I just felt like they were really really horrible characters and none of them were particularly enticing to me and that bit of the story was not for me However, the ending when they go to the new place, if you've read it you'll know what I mean. I loved the visuals for that new place, I thought that was a really, really wonderfully described world and everything that happened within that world was quite exciting, it was very action packed and there was a lot of very cool visuals that were described. The ending was a little bit dissatisfying as well, it was quite an open ending and I've heard from a lot of people that if you actually read the books back to back instead of considering it as a trilogy just one book split into three parts then apparently it's a much better story if you consider it like that. So on the whole although I hated Quentin's character I did think that the storyline was interesting there were a lot of twists and turns that I wasn't expecting and it was a very fun storyline they went to do some very interesting things However, I just hated the characters and for me characters are a big part of the story and if the characters are so despicable that you can't like them even slightly then I just did not find them entertaining and there was no progression of the characters at all in my eyes so it was not for me. Lev Grossman I think is a really really good writer, he had some scenes which were really funny and made me laugh out loud and I did enjoy his descriptions but I just didn't like his characters. I ended up giving this book a 2 out of 5 stars, it was okay, there were some good bits, there were some really bad bits, it was just meh, I wasn't really loving it. However I do intend to pick up the next one because I already own the next one and we're planning to read it this month so I am looking forward to seeing if the second one will change my opinion. However if the second one is the same and really doesn't change my opinion I probably won't pick up the third. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this story. If you've read it definitely let me know whether you liked it or disliked it, which side of that you fall under because I know that people have really really mixed opinions about this. I am totally looking forward to the next one because even though I didn't love Quentin as a character I did love the story and I want to know what happens next. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the